Good morning, YouTube. What is up, guys? It is, what is today? Monday. Monday, man. I lose track of these days, guys. I feel like I vlog maybe too much. I'm losing track of time. But uh, yeah, so yesterday, you guys watched that vlog, right? This is the vlog immediately after that. Um, yesterday was low carb day. Diet was perfect on point. My fitness pal at macros were spotless. So the goal with today is I, I was reading through some of the comments. Some of you guys said you wanted to kind of see how to use my fitness pal. So my goal with today's vlog, I'm going to show you guys, I want to scan some food in and show you guys how I track my uh, macros using the app. And I think it'll help a lot of you guys out, especially those of you that don't really understand. And, uh, you know, me, I've been doing it so long that I can kind of like eyeball food, right? I know like peanut butter, you know, I can kind of eyeball and go, okay, I know that much is probably 200 calories, 16 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, seven grams of carbs. I can look at broccoli. I can eyeball. Like, okay. That's probably 84 grams chicken. I can, I, you know, I estimate it. So, uh, using my fitness pal was instrumental in doing that for me. So I'm gonna show you guys that later. But anyways, here I am. I just got out of the shower. I want to show you guys my uh, physique right now. Haven't eaten anything. Haven't drank anything. I have zero pump whatsoever. So, you know, I didn't do any secret pushups or anything to make myself look more pumped. This is what I look like without a pump in the gym. I'm gonna show you guys my progress. So yesterday was low carb day. Saturday was my high carb day. And uh, today now the mechanisms by which high carb day works, if you do it right, you actually come away a couple days later leaner because your metabolism spiked and you refilled your muscle glycogen stores. So I'm down to 191. I was like 195 yesterday. So four pounds of that water weight is gone. Let me show you where I'm at. So yeah, here we are. I got this mirror rigged up in my room. So it kind of, uh, don't mind the bed behind me, but this is probably about the best lighting I could find. But yeah, basically, ugh, still, I'm always holding on to this, guys. Always holding on to this, but that's what I get because I have a shorter torso, so I wish I was like two inches taller. That would help me out so much. But yeah, it's kind of where I'm sitting at right now. Trying to give you guys a good look. Looking pretty decent. I can take a decent picture. <laughs> you know, you just got to kind of flex and contort. It's crazy because like, ugh, right? Chilling. Look at that belly. Look at that belly, right? And then, ah, see? <laughs> crazy how that works guys but yeah um feeling pretty good feeling i think carb cycling so far seems to be working really well so can't complain one bit now, how are we gonna rate the uh carb cycling so far i think we're gonna give it the uh <laughs> seal of approval baby anyways yeah guys i'm feeling good feeling great um high energy everything is good could not complain oh by the way if you guys are not watching westworld the tv show season finale was last night oh my god it is like the best show i've ever seen so westworld i'm telling you check it out you will not regret it i think you can sign up for like hbo now it's like 15 a month it's like netflix but 15 bucks will get you the entire season, stream it, cancel your subscription if you want to. But HBO Now, I really recommend it. It's an awesome service. But uh, anyways, ranting again, Westworld, watch it. I got lots of work to do. Um, thank you to everybody that's been signing up. I have more clients now than I've ever had in my entire life. So I have a ton of plans I got to run through this morning. I got to show you about some apparel. Thank you guys for buying shirts, everything. Life is good, guys. So yeah, I'll be back here in a little bit and uh, we will uh, get to work. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's work. I'm going to show I'm going to show you guys some stuff. I'm, I'm we're going to keep the video moving. How about that? Keep it moving. Thanks guys. All right, YouTube, what is up? I have been working all morning. I am finally free. I finally got my work done. It's like 3 p.m. So, I got, can you see that? Hold on. Ha, 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 ha. There there <laughs> those are packages thanks to everybody that's bought in shirts thanks for everybody that's bought in apparel that is awesome so i'm shipping out some hats and some shirts right there so boom that's done and i finally sold the rest of my camera too well the rest of my camera. if you watched the vlog the i'm selling my camera vlog i was selling my old camera so i finally got all the parts of it sold so this is the empty box for it so we are gonna hold up hold up can i michael jordan this oh wow <laughs> That was, that was not good. That was not Michael Jordan. That was more like Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Did that joke even make sense? I don't know basketball guys. That could have just been a bad joke. Oh man, hopefully that's not permanently damaged. <laughs> Anyways, I got to run to the post office and uh, I'm in a hurry, right? I'm kind of running behind. I had a ton of clients to check in with this morning. A lot of stuff to do and no, I don't really have a ton of time to prep right now. So I'm going to do a quick, easy meal. And uh, some of you guys are wondering how to use my fitness pal. So I'm going to give you a rundown. Okay. So this is going to be a quick, easy meal, right? It is low carb day still. So I'm going to do a little bit of sweet potato as it's very low carb, high in fibers. So this will be good for our goals and give me some micronutrients, allow me to stay spot on with my cycling plan. So we're going to go ahead and this thing in the microwave takes kind of tricky. They don't tell you that the secret lies underneath so much harder one handed. Jeez. Man, keep the struggle, sweet potato. Okay, this is high on seven minutes. All right, so that's pretty simple there. So we're just going to take our microwave sweet potato here and... 
pop it in here for seven minutes. We'll prepare the rest of it. So we're gonna weigh it afterwards. So boom, seven, whoop, time cook, seven, zero, zero, bow. Okay, now we got two cans of tuna right here and I'm gonna eat both of these. Aha, so I figured something out, guys. Okay, two cans of tuna, two cans of tuna, right? If you're buying tuna, let me give you a little piece of advice because I almost screwed up myself. So you see how this says, chunk light tuna in oil, right? So exactly as it sounds, they put it in oil. So you get about, per can, it looks like you're getting about five grams of fat. So negligible, eh, well, I mean, you know, if if you really account for it, it's not gonna make that big of a deal, but usually it's hydrogenated vegetable oils, which are very inflammatory, cause skin breakouts, cause all sorts of digestive problems. So not a fan, I've had these in there forever. I don't know why I just don't throw them away. It's hard when there's starving people out there to throw away tuna, but. I'm, I don't plan on eating these. So instead, same thing, except pay attention how it says wild caught chunk like tuna in water. So we look at our fat content, boom, 0. 0.5 versus 2.5, much better. So each of these cans is gonna be about 26 grams of protein. Opening both of these is gonna be 52 grams of protein towards my goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the bowl. There we go. Pull out my deluxe can opener, Extramatic 4000. That's actually just a regular can opener, guys, but I like to make things sound fancy. Okay, so we're gonna take this, bow. There you go, guys. If you've never used a can opener, this is how you do it right here. This is how you do it. Just be careful, see all that liquid at the top? You don't want it to spill all over your counter and then you have a tuna kitchen and that certainly won't help your lady problems. Lady problem. <laughs> won't help you attract a woman. Walks in looking like supplements, smelling like tuna and they just see ellipticals, they run. Okay, open this up. Now, I usually drain the juice off. So, actually I'll open the other ones if we already have the camera set up. Bingo, open you up. Tuna, now I don't eat tuna every single day simply because there is a mercury concern that some people have with it. I've never noticed any problems, but Google tuna and mercury and you have some people that claim this is the worst thing you can eat, but this is one of my like go-to foods in a pinch, right? Travel's easy, you don't really have to heat it up. Duh. High in protein, low in fat. So in turn, whoo, matrix style editing here. We take these cans, right? Usually I'll push the lid down on top as hard as I can to lock in the tuna and then I'll push and drain some of that water off. See that? Look at that, look at that, there you go. Kind of like text with them upside down. Whoa, nice. Rim with the mangles. Okay, now we open, peel the lid off, be careful you don't cut yourself. There we go, the lid is off both of these. And we're gonna put them in our bowl. Nice. So as you can see, both things of tuna are down in there. So that doesn't look very appetizing, does it? <laughs> but I, I do promise it tastes better than it looks. Now, in regards to using my fitness pal, we know that this is the nutrition label, right? And we don't wanna have to key this all in because it'll be a pain in the butt to key in, but we do have a label here. So let me show you the magic of this application. Let me set up in a good spot with lighting, that way I can show you, because it's on my phone. So let me set up right here. All right, see if we can get this to work. So, all right, can you see this? Oh, and I got someone ask me if the background picture is uh, of me. Yeah, one of my uh, fans kind of drew that up for me. Isn't that neat? Okay, anyways, anyways, let's go, go to the my fitness pal app all right bingo so here's the app loading up now and then you can see here i've already had 559 calories today so if you look at this app we go to the diary function down here at the bottom and this shows your daily food that you've eaten already so i go down through here and i've already had eight ounces of chicken four cups of broccoli and 14 tablespoons of parmesan cheese i do love parmesan cheese on there thanks liam shout out liam hackett by the way get out of there and then we have so i go down here so let's say for this we're gonna add dinner right add food and there's a ton of foods once you start getting in the swing of things, they'll have a ton of pre-selected foods you've already used in here, right? So I could click one of these, make it really easy. So as you can see, chunk like tuna and water. I already have that saved. But if you don't, you can search for a food, and there's a huge database, or you can click the little scan button. This is where the magic happens. So we click that scan button. All right, scan barcode, right? Now, oh, this is so hard to do. All right, so we go in here to scan the barcode. This is like matrix level stuff, man. This is so hard to do, okay. Scan it, right? Scan it, bingo. Now you see what just happened. Now it's in here, chunk like tuna and water from Kroger, two ounces, right? There's two servings per can, as you can see on the back of that label. So we go here, go whoop, to the number of servings. We're gonna take this down to, oh, come on. This is so hard to do. I'm literally watching my phone through the, there we go, fourth, right? Bingo, because we're having two cans. So there we go, chunk like tuna and water. It shows all of our stuff, exactly what we need. Two grams of fat, it shows we got no carbohydrates. It shows we got those 52 grams of protein I was talking about earlier. So 
easy, 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 guys. So we just kind of add that in there. So that's sitting there under dinner, right? And then, so now you've seen how to add foods in with my fitness pal using the scanner, right? So now to spice this up a little bit, I want to add some salsa. So basically what I'll do now is it's the same principle with this hot salsa here. I can scan the label with my fitness pal. So let's do this here. So we're going to grab my, this right here, add food, go to the scanner, click. Whoop, come on, come on. Bingo, searching. So it's got us here, right? Two tablespoons, three carbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two servings, right? This is so much harder than you think. <laughs> wow. Hopefully you guys are getting some value out of this. Okay, two servings, 20 calories, add that. So then I know that by looking on the back of this, it says one serving is 31 grams. So I have two servings in here, so that's 62 grams. So I'm gonna take the lid off of that, turn on my scale here, bingo, right? Then we pop this on here. So remember, we want 62 grams. I'm gonna tear this out. Tap that once. This is the worst scale in the world. Yeah, someone asked me the other day what scale I used. Don't buy this one. This is what I use, but it's terrible. Actually, yeah, I should go buy a new scale today. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go buy a new scale today because I hate this scale. It's nothing but stress. <laughs> it's nothing that causes you stress in your life. Eliminate it, and that's what this scale does. Okay, zero grams. So we need 62. So I'm gonna take this, dump a little bit in here, right? Okay, okay, let me sit it back on here. Negative 70. Okay, so we're pretty close to that 62, right? I'm just gonna write it off. I could have, if I wasn't holding thing with one hand, I had a spoon, I can make this much more accurate. But negative 62, negative 70, we're extremely close to two servings. So boom, we got that logged. I could go in here and even tweak that to be 70 grams, which I might do after I get off of here, but I only have one free hand. So we got that right. Now that's logged in our phone so we can see. So far for this meal, we are at 240, 20 calories. So 260 calories so far. Now don't forget about the sweet potato, which is finished up. Okay, grab this out of here. Now, let me set up. All right, now that I got the sweet potato, what I'm gonna do is remove it from the little package here. Oh, it's so hot. Let me also tear the scale back out to zero. Ah, woo, I didn't want that to happen. Now, depends, you can weigh it with your skin on or off. I don't think the skin tastes too bad, so I'll probably eat the skin and all myself. But some people don't like to do that, so I'll usually just cut the end off because I know it's not a very good piece. So, boom, cut the end off. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and weigh this. Oh, this thing's so hot. Okay, so tear our scale back to zero. See how bad this scale is, guys? This is the worst scale in the world. <laughs> okay, zero. Okay, so sit this down here. 148 grams. So that's approximately 140. That's about five ounces roughly, right? So if I hop in here to my fitness pal, this time I'm gonna show you how to use the search food function. So we're gonna add in here for our dinner. Boom, boom. We're gonna go to the top here. We're gonna click search. Okay, let's go sweet. Potato, okay. So here, cooked sweet potato, nice. Now, number of servings. Serving size, one ounce. So I know this is approximately about five ounces, right? So we'll take it down here, bingo, add. So that is in there now. So look at that, this meal alone, 388 calories. Now, if I didn't have this stuff in here, right? If I didn't have all this meal in here already, I could go down to the diary, pop down to nutrition, shows you my macros for the day and where I'm at. So far, I've had 15 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs, and 132 grams of protein, including this, and then the chicken and everything else I had earlier. Wow, that color really changes when that focuses, huh? So now I could cut down on that sweet potato if I wanted to and have a, a little less of it or do whatever I want to do. But basically that is my fitness pal in a nutshell. Pretty easy to use guys. All you got to do is sign up. It's free for it. You can pay more and it'll give you a few more options, but I use the free one and I get along just fine with it. So, you know, my 1900 day calorie goal, which I don't go off of too much. I just know that my macros add up to that, but uh, I'll usually try to stay right around there, keeping my macros within the relative ranges. So, so I'm about 950 calories left as you can see, remaining before I hit my uh, totals for the day. Now, also to another story that here that this tells, if I go to nutrition again, I can hop in here and go to nutrients. It'll tell me, you know, my macros, but it also gives me the fiber count, so 15. So really, we take that 15, we subtract from that 51, that puts us at, what is that, 34? I think so, I think my math's right, yeah, 34. So really, we're at a net total of 34 carbohydrates for the day, considering I had that big bag of broccoli earlier, which was all fiber, and then, you know, there's a lot of fiber in the sweet potato too, so that's that, guys. See, it is not that hard to track your food guys my fitness pal 101 if you guys are interested comment below and i'll do a full series on how to use the entire app including the desktop version i can make a whole video just for that if you want to see that comment below so now i'm gonna take my sweet potato here let's add you oh look at that look at that ah that is so hot that was a bad idea 
Okay, it's in our bowl here. Do you guys wanna see a taste test? All right, I'll do a taste test. All right, guys, you might not think this is very good, but I'm telling you, some tuna, some sweet potato, and some uh, salsa really goes a long way. Now, I could throw some hot sauce on here and stuff if I wanted to, but uh, I'm kind of in a hurry. I gotta get the post office where they close. I gotta get these packages out because I'm the type of guy, if someone signs up for a plan or if someone buys a shirt or something, like, and I say one to three business days, I try my hardest to make it one business day. So that's what you should do, really, if you wanna be a professional, you wanna come across in the best manner possible, be on time, and if you say you're gonna do something, do it. If you want someone ask me, what's one of the most important pieces of advice you give somebody looking to be successful? And honestly, that would be, if you start something, finish it. And if you say you're going to do something, do it. You want to, you don't want to be the person where someone says, oh, well, they said they were going to do this. And then, you know, we never heard about it again. If you make a claim and you say that you're going to do something, do it. And also if you start something, see it through to the end. So I said, I was going to start YouTube. And I said that I wasn't going to stop until da, da, da. here we are 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. People are going to laugh at you in the beginning. People always do. People hate to see success, especially people local around you. It's crazy that I get so much support from you guys on here, but the people around me just, <laughs> there are some people here locally that absolutely hate me just because I do what I do. They get on, they watch my videos and then and they hate it. But you know, the people closest to you and people that call yourself your friends are oftentimes the one that the ones that end up hating it when you do better. So people want to see you do good, but never better than them. So anyways, anyways, ranting again, let's do this taste test, right? So we got our tuna, we got our sweet potato. Yep. And our salsa. So I'm gonna make sure I get a little bite of all three. This is not be cutting with carbs. Like, and this should just be <laughs> cutting and taste tests <laughs> really. So quick little <laughs> it's good guys. It's good. What a little bit fell on the table. You can't waste a morsel. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this. I gotta run to the post office guys. And then you know what? I'm gonna go buy a new scale because I am tired of that scale. We're gonna go buy a new scale. I'll take you guys with me. See if we can't incognito sneak into a store and uh, buy a scale. <laughs> I'll be back. I don't even know what that was, guys. That was just me trying to make it seem cool, trying to putting on a jacket. But uh, no matter how cool you try to make putting on a jacket, I just I'm just not built to make it look cool. But I'm warm. That means something, right? <laughs> All right, let's grab these packages and let's go. Got to do the check. Cell phone. Pocket. Pants. Check. Shoes. Check. G G-Shock watch. Check. <laughs> Oh, you guys already seen the jacket. I don't got to point it out again. All right, we just left the post office. Now that I feel like a quarter of my soul has been sucked out. <laughs> I'm kidding. But really, though, if you haven't been at a post office lately, you're not missing out. You're not. I would not plan your next family vacation at the post office because it is a boring time. They don't even play music. Everybody seems like you're there to inconvenience them. Anyways, so yeah, I am uh, on the way to get this scale. Where do you even buy a scale at, guys? Um, I don't know. I have a Walmart nearby. I feel like Walmart will have the best selection, but then you got to deal with Walmart. Walmart. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So let's see. I think Wal yeah, <laughs> we're going to go to Walmart. So I will see you guys at the scale shopping aisle or the scale aisle. It probably don't have its own. It's probably in the, in the kitchen appliances aisle. I would imagine, but I will see you guys nonetheless at Walmart. <laughs> All right, guys just arrived at Walmart. We had to undock the uh, camera because we're going to go incognito mode. Some stores are really weird. If they think you're filming, they'll try to kick you out. So we're not even going to let that be a possibility. We're just going to roll up in here all secret agent style. They don't even know what hit them, so let's do it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That is hard to get in there. Yeah, you gotta hold it down. Uh, uh. Thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna let you take care of that. All right, where could this be? We're in like the, the pressure cooker section. I feel like that's gonna be somewhere over here. Towels? No, I've had the same ones for six years though. I should probably take care of that. Hmm. Guys, I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing anything. Maybe we gotta look in a different aisle. Well, we made a wrong turn and now we're at 300 frames per second Garnet high impact crossbows. So I think we uh, we went a couple aisles too far. Let's see if we can't double back. All right, guys, I definitely made a wrong turn. I do not know how I ended up in this aisle, but I cannot find these food scales anywhere. But uh, heck, I might as well get one of these while I'm here. Am I right? 27.97, that is a steal. <laughs> for that one, that particular model. It's a steel. These ones are marked up, but that one, steel. Well, they're in a food scale in sight, but there's no shortage of a wipe your paws rugs. They have plenty of those. <laughs> Man, I literally, I thought this would be easy, but I am just wondering, guys. I think I'm officially lost. Hey, but if, if you need rugs, guys, they got a million of them, but if you want to weigh your food, nah, I ain't got that. Excuse me. Yes. Do you have any idea where a food scale would be? It's like weigh your food with. I have been looking everywhere. I'm hoping. <laughs> I have been. I somehow ended up in the toy aisle. 
<laughs> I can't find a scale anywhere. All right here. This one, that one, that one. All right, I, I walked by this like a hundred times. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. You too. All right, guys. Looks like we finally found the scale section thanks to that kind lady. Hmm. This looks like what I got. I do not want one. I, that thing just looks like a hassle. I, I need a big surface, right? Hmm. That one doesn't look too bad. I'm willing to pay though. I'm willing to pay for a good one. The biggest loser scale. I feel like that's an oxymoron. Let me see. What's this thing got? Glass top resistance, weight capacity. Hmm. Does this thing look like a good purchase or not? All right, guys, so I decided to go with this one. Reason being is that a lot of the other ones they had had those like haptic feedback touch buttons, if you know what I mean. They weren't like, you didn't actually push them. You had to like tap them, which is what made me so mad about my old scale. So this one right here, check that out. It's got the physical buttons, all the modes I need, and it was the biggest surface area so I could set more stuff on it for weight. So, and that, that actually matters. Some containers you use are actually too big for some scales. So this guy for $20 is gonna be the new scale. So bingo, we got it. Let's get out of here. Pretty good, how are you? Oh, good. Is that it for you? That's gonna be it. 21, 22. 21, 22. That's 878, thank awesome. you. Awesome, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. You too. Let's get out of here. There's my baby. She needs a bath, but she's still pretty as ever. Look at her. <laughs> no one stole my gallon of water, I see. Finally got ourselves a food scale, so back to the house. We'll give this guy a, uh, we'll get, we'll break her in, see how she is. We'll give her a test run. How about that? <laughs> All right, guys, just got home. Are you ready for the best unboxing video of the year? The hottest tech gadgets? We have the, what is this thing? The stainless steel digital scale, or for those of you that are Spanish speaking, Balanza Digital de Acero Inoxidable. Edable. <laughs> Mainstays brand. All right, let's open this up. So as you can see here, we have a very nice, Nice secure pouch system here. Very secure. All right, open it up. All right, we got it out of the box. It's got like a McDonald's style cup holder tray it sits in. You guys get what I'm saying? All right, move you to the side. Digital kitchen scales, instructions for use. Such a complex looking menu. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's compare it to this crappy scale. Yeah, see, look at that. Night and day, literally. Okay, is this on right now or do I gotta do something special? I think I gotta probably do a battery deal with it. Aha, pull the tab. Got him. All right, guys, moment of truth. Oh, so much better. One press and it's on. Nice, okay, let's weigh something. What can we weigh? Let's weigh this Nitroflex. 7.5 ounces, that is just, that is glorious. Then tear it out. Nice, mode, milliliters. Oh, my hand's on it, that's why it's going freaky. I was kind of scared there for a second. Milliliter, nice, ounce, grams. Well, guys, I am thoroughly impressed. This gets two Nate Whitlatch seal of approvals out of two of them. I didn't think that joke through. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is getting late. I, I worked a lot today. I had a bunch to do and um, yeah, I just got back from the store and the sun is starting to come down. So if I'm gonna have this video edited and put out in time, I gotta get working on it so you guys can see it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, you start, download My Fitness Pal, by the way. That is the name of the app, My Fitness Pal. Complete game changer when you're trying to diet. If as long as you weigh and track everything, there's no way your diet can fail unless you cheat on it. So, little pro tip there. And if you're looking for a scale, I recommend this. You guys seen it. It got two Nate Whitlatch seals of approval out of two. So, I mean, there was only a possibility of two. It got both of them, so that's 100%. I mean, that's that. you don't get better than that. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'm out of here. Take care, and thank you guys for everything so much. All the support's been incredible. Uh, leave a comment below on ideas for future videos. I liked the My Fitness Pal idea. I feel like a lot of people benefited from from that and if you put an idea down there oh 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 um go ahead and ask a question below i'm gonna throw a q a into one of these episodes here in the next couple days so go ahead and ask a question down below i don't care what it is fitness related training related personal life related just anything i don't care ask that question and then i'll have a segment in one of my next vlogs the next day or two doing a q a so do that for me anyways don't forget to smile pay somebody a compliment and remain positive because you never know whose day you could be making better and in turn that makes your day better and it's a cascading effect that just reverberates throughout the entire world right think on that think on that this is the key right here. This is the tool to your happiness and your success. It's all about getting your mind right. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. See ya.